I haven't heard from these for a while, so I've been bikeless. You might notice that we now have a bike. I picked this up yesterday. High tower. Gone to the dark side and gone 29. Just demoed one a while ago and just the fit were right, the feel were right. Didn't even demo anything else. This thing just felt awesome. So we'll see how we get on today. Actually riding it in anger. I'm just at the bottom at Hope Line. I'm just gonna do these little jumps at the bottom here. See how this see how the bike feels. I'll pop here or not. Not that one. Alright. Felt like I could have gone a bit bigger than them, to be honest. A bit easier to get it up in, front, in, in the air than I'm used to. I think that's down there. I don't know if that's just down to sizing. It's on the old Bronson I was on the large. Well, this high tower's a XL. And it just feels such a better fit. Feel up my central on the bike and I don't know whether that's just it or whether the suspension's just set up nicely and in balance. Maybe man. My Bronson wasn't maybe, I don't know. Anyway, felt pretty good. Not that I'm a superhero or anything, I never will be, but yeah. Felt quite quite nice. Anyway, I see at the top of this hill. So I've made it up to the top of Hope Hill, top of the Hope Line. I have a, a little rest and eat my banana. But while I am, I should maybe mention what the hell I actually went for here. So this, I, I didn't want a carbon bike again. So I got the Alloy. Well, it's an Alloy D kit, which is like your most basic spec you can get from Santa Cruz. But they had these Fox 36s in the sale which were a 2018 fork but they were so they were too cheap to not have them they're a big upgrade over the RockShots 35s that they're meant to come with which by all accounts are garbage so it was well worth a swap dropper post was extra and they had to put the good old STG saddle on so I know that they fit my bum And uh, the red framing alloy were like one of the last ones in the country at the moment. Um, if I wanted any other colour, I'm going to have to wait until the summer. The red wasn't really my first choice, but it becomes a lot more attractive when uh, it's physically there in stock and there aren't going to be any more for months. So but it's growing on me. I actually do quite like it. So yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, I couldn't get the wide rims, I wanted 30mm rims really, but um, I couldn't quite stump up for the wheels. So I've got a bit sort of like bog basic WTBs on, 25mm internal, and uh, running 2.3 tyres on there. I really wanted 2.5s or something on, but you can't have it all when your pockets aren't deep enough. But it's, it's running good, I'm, I'm liking the bike, feels good. But eventually I think I'll be changing a couple of things i changed the brake, the brakes they just shram levels basic things they don't feel amazing honestly so they, they'll i want to change them i had some shimano z's on my bronson and i think i've got used to that so i really want some z's on so barry for brakes and wheels i'm not bothered about changing a great deal i would have preferred shimano everything i've got shram everything it's working fine. It just don't quite feel quite the same. It's what it's what you're used to, isn't it? But yeah, awesome bag. Loving it. I'll be back in a minute when I'm gonna go down to Hope Line. 
right, all fine, here we go. It's a little bit strange on this. The only problem with this is, it's got to come back up the hill. It makes. It's still bedding in yet. Might be why I feel a bit cack. It does feel very different, 29er. I feel like I'm just holding back a bit. So it does pick up speed really quick. I'm just finding it a bit weird to, to judge everything, to be honest. This will not be the fastest run down here ever, at all. It's going to be pretty bloody slow. The boardwalk's open. This hasn't been open for a long time. Whichever the way is. Oh, there's a better line over there, really. That's the, uh, I think that's where you meant to go. Oh, well. This hasn't been open since I first started riding. Oh, good. Definitely not feeling particularly strong. I say this every time I every time I ride. I need to stop moaning about it really and get fit. So oh, we'll come back when the boardwalk starts. Pretty sure the boardwalk starts here. It's more like a fire road, that last bit there. I don't remember much of this, because like I say, I haven't been on it for a few years. feelings about boardwalk. So it can be flipping slippy. We've always got a bit further to fall as well. Too crazy, really.
I remember riding that for the first time like as a new rider I've been pretty intimidated by it I think I'm saying Look Bastard What happened there? Oh well, sold now. New one. Now then, do we do? Holy gully first or the long way down? Um, I think we'll do long way down. Long way down deceptively goes up a bit first. First time I rode that without calm, they're expecting it to go straight down the hill and we're in a big fat gear. I always feel like I'm going off edge on that corner. For a long way down, there's a few ups. There we go. Forgot about that. Getting a bit close to the edges. Oh, I'm definitely underwhelmed with these brakes. They're not. They're not amazing. I'm going a bit too fast into everything. I'm used to the the Z's and you know at far pots. These do not do the same job. I'm not saying they're crap brakes, really. But they're just not what I'm used to. Where did that one loose? <sighs> right, now then. I need to go back over there and climb back up for Hully. Right, we're going to go down Hully Gully now. They've altered the entrance, they've put a freaking step in it. it used to just be like a straight drop so i'm not going to drop it today because i feel like i'm going to catch my back end i'm look at that i don't know why i've done that and it's black so having a drop for a qualifier is fine i don't know why they've needed to do that anyway Washed out. How funny is this? Up the top. Well. I managed to stay fairly dry, I'm absolutely soaked now. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh, 
right. Back towards the eight. We've got a little bit coming up down here. Uh, I'll try this way for a change. I normally go the other way. Oh, this is well. Feels weird it's coming down there. And being in the light and not the dark. Oh god. Too big a gear. Some of my fun bits is this. It's a bit flat and everything, it's very blue, but just good carders. Nearly down the edge again. Definitely corners differently to a 27.5. How different does all this look? Trees gone. I feel like I'm riding somewhere totally new. to be a bit of off piece the fear so might as well give it a go I suppose see where we end up that might have been the best idea but it's not eh Mix as well in the mud. Okay. I got the foggiest where I'm going. Oh, God, roots. Is up something like that catch you. Shape of the tree. Oh, that was slushy. Come on. Where the hell am I? Straight into the swamp. Oh, I've no chance of getting out of there. Oh, what a great idea. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Oh, right, okay. That's where it brings you. Not totally sure that's worth it, to be honest. Certainly not in wet months. It's far too boggy. And your reward is to climb all the way back up here again. Come on. Brand new bike, nicely full of crud, making lovely grinding noises. And I've got a face full of crap. Just like that. Oh, I can't see. Come on, tears. There we go. God. I'm missing my me, uh, me mud guard today. A good old mud hugger. That's going to be me next buy for sure. Whoa, whoa. That was close. Naughty little route. Damn it. Oh, man. Come on, legs. Very weak. Very, very weak. Yeah. These things didn't used to be a problem. But now I'm fat and old. They are a problem. I'm not going to do the black this time because I don't think I can get up the other side. In this dirt. These Fox 36s feel bloody awesome. <laughs> 